Hello, I'm Liam Carr, and this is my final video in the series. This is anaerobic respiration. But if you haven't seen my other videos, which are about glycolysis, the link reaction, the Krebs cycle, and oxidative phosphorylation, then I suggest you watch those first. Otherwise, this won't make much sense. So, today I'm going to answer the question, what happens when we don't have any oxygen? Well, this is the electron transport chain in ATP synthesis, or oxidative phosphorylation as it's known. And you can see here, we've got oxygen. And that oxygen is used as the final electron acceptor. And what it does is you join two hydrogen ions to two electrons to half an oxygen to make water. And this oxygen comes from uh, when we breathe it in from the atmosphere. If we can't get enough oxygen, however, we've got a problem. In that, and the, that problem is that this hydrogen and these electrons don't have anywhere to go. And because they don't have anywhere to go, that means that this NADH does not get converted into empty NAD. So, with no empty NAD, we've got a problem which I'll explain. Now this, is the Krebs cycle. And as you can see, you need empty NAD. So if you have no empty NAD, you can't do this stage. That just doesn't happen. No empty NAD, you can't do this. You don't actually get any empty FAD, which is another hydrogen carrier. You can't do this. And no empty NAD, so you can't do this. Which means the Krebs cycle just stops. <clears throat> Equally, if the Krebs cycle stops, that means that you can't do the link reaction either. Because as you can see with the link reaction, that requires NAD. So what on earth do we do? Well, the answer is we do something that's very, very similar to the link reaction. I'll just move the link reaction up there and I'll explain what happens. This is the anaerobic respiration equation. And it goes something like this. We've got pyruvate, which is a three carbon molecule that we get from the Krebs cycle. And we convert that not into acetyl CoA, which is a two carbon molecule, but into lactate or lactic acid, as it's sometimes known. And anybody who's done any exercise whatsoever for any length of time will know what lactate is and what it feels like. That's a three carbon compound. It pretty much hurts when you're exercising. Now, <clears throat> what happens therefore in this reaction is something quite special because instead of empty NAD going to NADH, it's actually the opposite way around. This uses a little bit of NADH and converts it into NAD. And when I say a little bit, this is what I mean. For every glucose molecule that you've got, you get two three carbon pyruvates. And that makes sense because glucose is a six carbon molecule, pyruvate is a three carbon molecule. Which means you get two lactate three carbon molecules, which also means you get two NADH is being converted into two empty NADs. And this is the point of anaerobic respiration, those two empty NADs, because they can be used here in glycolysis. In fact, they're used here and here to keep glycolysis going. And that keeps generating pyruvate, which keeps getting turned into lactic acid, which keeps hurting. But we've got a net gain here of two ATP, which is enough to keep us exercising or doing whatever we need to do for a short time without oxygen. And that is anaerobic respiration. Thanks for watching. All your other videos will be linked below in the description, so if you want to understand aerobic respiration, then that's where you should look.